Good morning, everyone. So, thank you very much, first of all, for joining me at this time in this tutorial. And here in this lecture, I'm going to talk about uh, the PDF Reader Desktop application. So, that's the whole code which you can see over here. I've used for creating this beautiful application. So, with the help of this uh, simple uh, desktop application, we can convert we can read everything whatever is there in a PDF file except images there are images so for that we'll have to we need to use some libraries with which we can you know access the images and we can read them but uh, if there is uh, some text present in the PDF and you want to read it you want to convert it into text you want to extract text from the PDF yes that's what you can do with the help of this beautiful application and if you want to uh, create such applications you want to learn how to create how you can create such applications so you can contact me on the below number you can avail the coding classes uh, so there are a number of courses which I am taking right now uh, if you want to know the details uh, of those coding classes you can definitely contact me on the below number Fine, so these are the libraries which I have used for this uh, mobile application. Keekinter is the first one, then PyPDF2. You guys, you know, I think, know very well about this library. So it, it helps us in, uh, you know, fetching the PDFs and uh, reading them. Then we have this file dialog over here with, with which we can, you know, open the dialog window and we can browse the location where the PDF file is present or the images are present. I've showed you the use of this library in one of the previous lectures. I don't know whether you have seen that uh, lecture or not, but yes, uh, that's the library with which we can, you know, open that browsing window. Uh, let me just show you the output first so that, you know, everything can be more clear to you guys. So I'm running this code. Uh, so that's the window. You, uh, that's the application. That's how the application looks like. Now, right on the top, you can see this PDF extract text. And it is coming from this code over here. So that's the logo, right? And logo.png is this image which you're seeing right on the top. It's not written by me. I've just created this image and I've put it right like this, right on the top over here on this applications window. Then uh, this select a PDF file on your computer to extract all its text where it is coming from. Let me tell you that. So uh, it is coming from here, right? Instructions tk.label. Right, so I've used this label uh, named function and then I have used this grid name function for, uh, you know, integrating this instructions to uh, this window over here. I hope you know about this grid function. If you don't know, you can definitely have really coding classes. So uh, that's the button. Now, if I will click this button, what is going to happen? So automatically the text will change to loading first. See, it has changed to loading and that's the window I was talking about. So, you know, this file dialog uh, library, this file, di file dialog function has opened for us uh, this beautiful window. And now I can uh, simply, you know, uh, select one of the PDFs over here and let's hit this open button. So see, whatever text is there in the PDF file, I am able to extract it, right? So which function is helping me in extracting the information? Let me help you with that too. So that's the button function right with which I have defined that button and you know uh, this command over here when the you will when I'm clicking that button that's the function which uh, the interpreter is calling and it is executing so that's the whole code of this open file function right ask open file that's the function with which I am able to choose or select a file right and this is the whole code with which i am extracting uh, extracting the information extract text right i'm extracting the information from the pdf file and then i am putting it in the text box below over here so see how simple uh, this code is but yes you uh, need some practice you need someone to guide you uh, you know how you can create such beautiful applications so if you want, you can take help from me. Just give me a call on the below number to take the details of the coding classes I am providing to my students right now. In case you find anything interesting or appealing, you can uh, you know start availing the coding classes. You can be a part of my coding classes. This is it from my side in this lecture. Hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot. Do not forget to like and share this video in your groups. Thank you.